Great. Wow, am I tired. Full review. This is the older version. Not the old, old version. I've got the newer version, too, so I guess I should have brought that lens out instead of this one. <laughs> they look the same except for the tripod mount. Um, this is the Helios 85mm f1.5. Six element lens made as Yelnovrasia. Vastayashi Ruski Narode. Krepki Narode. The Russian people out there are going to laugh over that one. Krepki Narode. Um, a lot of people have commented that this lens is built like a tank. That really doesn't mean anything. It built by a tank means it's also as durable as a tank. This lens is as heavy as a tank. I would not call it as durable as a tank. It, it is. I mean, I would not, in general, recommend uh, Russian lenses. Whoops! I'm trying to put the lens cap back on there. By the way, it comes with a metal lens cap. Dear Russians, when you put a metal, metal lens cap on a lens, if you don't have a filter on the front, which most people won't, when it slips off, that metal will totally scratch up the front element. The reason we have plastic lens caps is because plastic don't scratch glass. So, <laughs> anyway, it's a great lens. I posted some pictures. I've been out shooting most of the day. Um, I said I would actually review this lens. Is this lens fuzzy in the corners? It has only basic center sharpness. That's true. Um, a lot of people very stupidly, and I mean stupidly, I mean button sniffers, only judge a lens. I know. What about the vignetting? You know, what about the distortion? It's got distortion. It's fuzzy in the edges. This lens is incredible. I got links below. Please click on the pics, uh, some that I took today, but also click on the um, Flickr link for uh, this lens. Uh, this lens is a copy, even though it's 85 millimeters, is a copy of the Biotar 75 millimeter f1.5. And if you find a good copy of that, I mean, it'll run you sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars. You could find these. The last time I saw them on eBay, the cheapest one was uh, three hundred and eighty dollars. It is a really well-built lens. Uh, it is Russian lens. It will flare really, really easy. The notion of using this without a lens hood is stupid. Um, the images that you can get out of this are absolutely incredible. They are saturated. They're color-rich. They have extreme swirly bokeh. Some people hate that, and you know that's their damn problem. You know they don't like it. Fine. Don't really care. I love it. It's perfect for framing a subject. Really perfect. Now, I don't mean pets vol swirly bokeh. I mean actually good swirly bokeh. And it is true that if you want to your subject to be sharp, you need to, s to frame it within 30% of the center of your viewfinder because if, you, if anything important is out on the edges, it's just going to be soft. And my answer to that is who gives a damn? This lens gives a specific result, and photography is an art form. Photography is not about button sniffers and measure baiters, measure baiters, you know, trying to piss and moan and, you know, fling poo, poo like a rabid monkey in a zoo about vignetting and corner sharpness. The lens is incredible, but it is great for what it does, you know. I don't, uh, you know, I stick a nerd in a computer room. I don't stick him out on the Amazon or on the beach to, like, save people from drowning. You know, I don't... Uh, you know, it's the right tool for the right job. And uh, people can complain about what this lens doesn't have all day long, and I'll s tell you what it does have all day long. It's absolutely worth every bit of what it costs. It's incredible lens. It's, it is insanely heavy lens. The uh, images uh, speak for themselves. I don't agree that a lens that has a lot of corner softness, softness is a bad lens. Because this means nothing. I mean, that's like saying the impressionistic paintings were shit because they weren't sharp and realistic. Or saying Salvador Dali was, you know, I mean, that kind of artwork is crap because the clocks are melting. And it's, you know, some, you know, guy is walking down the road with sticks for arm. You know, who cares? Those paintings are worth millions of dollars. It has nothing to do with realism. You know, if you if you want realism, then... Get yourself a reproduction lens, a tripod, a slide rule, and a, and a laser level, and, you know, and take a picture and try to do color matching. You know, it's photography. Okay, it's not art reproduction, where it's like everything has to be perfectly exact. You actually have a bunch of floodlights. You take a picture of a fine piece of art. You know, you center your camera. You measure white balance. That's a different type of photography. Photography is an art form. 
Like I said, the images speak for itself. It is an incredible lens. I love it a lot. Uh, I don't mind the fact that it's actually really heavy. That actually helps you steady the lens a lot better. It gives you less shake when taking a, a low light shot. Um, it is an incredible lens, so check, click the images below. And I beg you to take a look at the Flickr page. I think you would actually fall in love with a lot of the images that uh, come out of these. This is actually the only, not even the Helios. Everybody loves that stupid uh, Helios, and I got several of them. The 58mm f2, it's fine enough. It has really interesting bokeh. They're 40 50 bucks all day long on eBay. The, it's a copy of the Biotar 58mm f2. You're far better off buying a real Biotar, but they're harder to find now. Um, you're actually better off with this lens. This is a better lens than the original Biotar 75mm was. I know this is an 85, but it's still a copy of the Biotar 75mm 1.5. The image results and center sharpness are superior on this than it is that uh, Zeiss Biotar. So... Um, I absolutely love the hell out of it. I love the images that it produces. I love it. I don't give a crap about the uh, the fact that everything in the corners, basically 60% of the frame, 30% is sharp in the middle, and 60% of everything else is 70%, right? 30% sharp, 70% black. I don't give a crap about that because I know how to use this lens. And the people that complain about that are, are just idiots. They are. They're just idiots. They just, they don't understand. They're, they're, they're losers. They don't get it. Those are the same people on diaper review. And they are, they are, are assholes. Just assholes. They complained about me because I said in several videos that the, uh, that the uh, Zeiss, uh, what's the, Otis, excuse me. The Zeiss Otis is a horrible lens. And I don't know if you know what the Zeiss Otis is. It's a couple different flavors and different focals. It's an insanely expensive lens. And I love Zeiss. I got well over a dozen Zeiss lenses. Insanely expensive lens. It has only one good attribute. It's incredibly sharp. It's sharper than a surgeon's scalpel. It just, it's sharp. But it's a horrible lens because it doesn't render well. It's got too many elements in it. The micro contrast is bad. There is nothing good. It is a clinical dry lens. Kind of like a, like, a, like a processed McDonald's burger where it's meat and other chemicals and it just spits out something square and is super consistent from, you know. That's not art. That's not saying you can't do artistic stuff with an Otis. Those are the same people that bitch about me for saying the, the Otis is a horrible lens. And I call it an, a horrible lens for valid existential reasons. The lens is only sharp for six thousand, five thousand dollars, depending on the focal. You get nothing other than a really sharp lens, and that does not a good lens make. This lens is inexpensive at four hundred bucks. It's got a crap load of uh, of uh, corner blurry, and it's got really, really swirly bokeh. Really, like your head is in a washing machine. But if you know how to use it right, I mean, my God, I love the images from this lens. Take a look for yourself, so. Photography is an art form. It's not the realm of measure baiters, so. Love it. There is my subjective yet existential review of the, the uh, Helios, or they say in Russian, Gilios, 85mm f1.5. And I'm definitely not a fan of Russian quality. There is nothing, this lens is actually well made, but in general, you know, Russian quality is absolutely for crap. Unless it's a killing device. There's only one thing Russians make good now, is like killing machines. If it's something that is designed to blow people up or blow people apart, or you know, oh, the Russians make that stuff good, but you know, if it's a consumer product, <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's true, you know? America is kind of the same way. We make really good uh, weaponry, but well, America doesn't make anything now other than weaponry. Every all our consumer goods is crap made in China. So, pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. There's a review, the really strange review of the Helios 8515.
Check the links below for the pictures. If you like these videos, hope you can drop a donation, a buck or two, because I live really cheap. I never go on a vacation. And uh, I'm not going to go to Chicago later this month because my girlfriend dropped me because I did nothing wrong at all. <laughs> I forgot to text her early in the morning. That is my unforgivable sin. Is that I woke up and I made a two-minute video on cutting foam and I didn't text her early in the morning. I didn't text her first thing in the morning. And so that made her really upset. And so that's why she broke up with me. So, obviously, that, that's an unforgivable sin right there. Oh, my God. Oh, well, that's life, right? Thanks for watching. Bye.